السلام عليكم I am Najib from Algeria and in this video I want to show you my C program implements the bunker algorithm of course you can download my my program you will find the link in the descriptions below but you must understand how to use it before okay so when you download you will find just an archived folder an archive at so to find when you open you will find the three files that's the bunker algorithm that reads the matrices so here we will put our system okay because that's terrible to write matrices in the terminal okay so we just write our matrices in a file so this program read the system from the file and put the output here the execution sequence here okay let me show you an example for example here excuse me here that's my video uh, explaining the bunker algorithm okay so here I use tokens the instances as poppers okay so that's a good video if you want to to see it to understand deeply the bunker algorithm you will find the link in the descriptions below okay so let's say that's the our system so that's the the max matrix and that's the allocation matrix and that's the available the av available instances matrix and that's the need matrix because here when so I assume that you know a little bit this algorithm because we just entered the max and the allocation matrix and the need we can just calculate because it's it's equal the max minus the allocation matrix okay so uh, so let's see an example how to write your uh, your system okay so before I, I explain so here if you want me to change something in this program you can contact me okay but this is not for free okay so if you want me for example to change the format of the input okay or anything if you want me to change to change anything in this program just contact me you will find your my coordinates in the descriptions below so here what's that mean that's the input that's a system in the first line we we'll write the number of processes here for example there is four processes p1 p2 p3 and p4 okay so because that we we'll write We'll write four here okay and then in the second line we'll write you the number of resources here in this example we have a b c d so those are four here and then just write the instances the number of instances of each resource okay because here for example we have four so here that's mean that the initial availability vector okay so that's mean that i have five instances of the first resource and two instances of the second resource and four instances of the third resource and then the three instances of the third resources okay and then directly write your max matrix here for example so you will see that the tall of this of this matrix is 4 that's because here we we'll write 4 okay because we have four processes and the width of this matrix is 4 because we have four we were write uh, we were we already written four here four for uh, resources okay so just to write the matrix uh, the max matrix and then directly write your allocation matrix okay so notice here that we write just a number and then comma and then number comma number comma number okay so, so just to separate the numbers by comma okay so when you download you will find this example exactly this example okay and when you run the program which reads this file 
So we just so that's the availability, the, the max metric, the allocation metric, and the program uh, calculate the need metric, this metric minus this metric equal this metric, and then so that's the uh, the initial available vector which is here. No. The, the, uh, the initial available vector is equal is equal the number of instances for example here 4 minus the allocation I assume that you know this algorithm a little bit okay uh, and then so we can just refer, write uh, ran p3 and then p0 and then p1 and then p2 and in each time we, we update the available vector and you can also find the result here in the output. Okay, so here we ran P3 and then P0 and P1 and then P2. And in each time we, up, we update the available vector. And here we say that the system safe because there is a way to, to run all of the processes. Okay. I hope that you're subscribing in my channel and if you have any questions just put it in the description section below and if you have uh, any suggestion or question just uh, to upload other videos just tell me in the comments also. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching.